Max, I need to talk to you about uh, I mean, I don't know if you heard. I, I dropped from the race about four or five days ago. Yeah, I saw the tweet. It was I actually cried. Basically, what's happened in the last uh, really like last three weeks is uh, the realization that if I if I leave the PD right now, it's just going to turn into a disaster. It's it's going to be bad. okay. I, I mean, long story short, I know I know we didn't know each other uh, prior, mm -hmm. you know, years ago. Right. But mm -hmm. uh, things are very different than they used to be. And, uh, you know, I understand, you know, they want to do some things different around here and whatnot. But there's nobody in command who was around before. Not a, not a single person. I mean, Turner is new. Okay. Uh, Slacks is new. Uh, Ruth is new. I mean, these, these, these folks, they don't, they don't understand what was good about before and what was bad about before. They just heard about the end result, about the government right. collapse. Yep. And from my perspective, I'm like, shit, when I was around, we were cruising. Things were good. You know, we were kicking ass. You know, it was like a well-oiled well -oiled machine. That's right. It was. It was a damn well-oiled machine. We had this some bitch. let me tell you, this some bitch Lenny Hawk one time. We had, there was a damn robbery. And yeah. you know, we, have, we have in our damn SOPs that, hey, if, if they got a gun pointed at a hostage, you know, you just talk to them, get them to negotiate, let the hostage go. And let me tell you, one time Lenny Hawk... They took their gun off the hostage, and they were not paying attention, and that is grounds for a breach. Lenny Hawk kicked them damn glass doors wide open and shot every single son of a bitch in there in the head. Oh, my God. Yeah, he did. That, See, that sounds like a fucking patriot, dog. Yeah, that's trooper shit right there, okay? Now, you know what happens? It's people are getting away with attempted murder. Now people are just stabbing each other in the kitchen at Senior Buns, throwing damn human body parts in the food and all kinds of shit, okay? And it's, Ew. You, you know what you get for that? You get a warning. You get what? worse than a warning. You get a damn five-hour bench trial that leads to nothing. Anyway, long story short is, uh... Hang on with a few patriots. <laughs> Howdy. Hey. Hey. What's up, guys? How you doing? We're talking about Little Texas. I, I really want to sit down and have a chance to, to work out kind of the idea for, for Little Texas and, and open up the sheriff's office, because... The way we are now, I mean, we have so many damn good officers that ain't getting jobs and, you know, people who I used to work with. And a lot of these guys, they, damn, they, they are looking for jobs and we're, we're shorthanded. We ain't hiring people. We got to get the damn sheriff's office. So, open. so what would you call your, uh, your Northern police department? So seeing as how everything North of route 68 is little Texas, I think it's only appropriate to call it the little Alamo, that building that has the hospital and the uh, police department shared. So we got yeah, I, I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, so so what? we got the Little Alamo Sheriff's Office. That's going to be called the Lasso, and then the okay. uh, the hospital will be called the Little Alamo Medical Plaza. The Lamp. I don't know why I thought it was going to be Lamo. I think I think I'm illiterate, guys. <laughs> <laughs> the Lasso and the Lamp, huh? Yeah. Now that's just for North of 68, you, right? Yeah. You could open a medical examiner's so what office about and call it the Lamo. Lamo. Oh yeah. Okay. What about what about what about the sheriff's office in Pluto and the medical center in Pluto? I mean, this was all part of I mean, I, like I said, I had to drop from the race. At one point in time, I really, really wanted, basically, if, if we had a mayor, deputy mayor situation, I think we could do some really, really good shit. But unfortunately, I think it's just going to be a shit show if, if I leave. It's just not my time yet. I, I might run for mayor again in the future. But right. my personal, I, mean, I know you got your whole plan and everything like that. But what I want Big to plans. propose years ago, this is why you were gone. And I don't know if somebody's told you this already, but there was a Polito Farmer's Market that they... Oh, yeah. Okay, so you heard about this. They, they built it mm -hmm. out up top, and it was really exciting, and a bunch of people went, and, you know, opportunity for small business, and, you know, farmers, and all this shit, right? It was really exciting at first, and it went to dog shit. Nobody went up there, because there was nothing leading up to Polito, and then nobody was going to do shit at it. anyway. What they tried to do before was... You know, we had the city, and then they try to go on the complete opposite side of the island. Whereas you kind of have to fill up the island like a cup. You know, you can't fill a, fill a cup of water up at the top without having water in the middle. That sort that's of a thing. good. That's a good analogy, actually. Yeah. So, so, what do you propose? So we have to have housing. We have to have businesses. We have to have stuff built out, moving outwards from the city up through Sandy, through Grapeseed, and it has to work its way towards Polito as opposed to trying to build out Polito and meet it in the middle because it works against justifying building out the stuff in the middle because people say, well, nobody goes to Polito, so why the hell would we build out in the middle? Whereas you could get stuff passed a lot more easily if you start, you know, probably the casino and then up to Sandy and Grapeseed and things even being built off the highway. I mean, that might be a, a whole damn thing. You, you know one thing you might like? Some motherfuckers been talking about like a passenger train to Polito. Like if it, if it, if you got on it somewhere in like the central part of the city, and then it took you all the way up there, and it was kind of fast and shit. I think that'd be tight. Yeah, I know. I think that'd be great. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, I think yeah. that'd be great. I mean, there's nothing more than I want for Polito to have some life, and I think it's already starting. A lot of people have moved up there; they want big things for it. Yeah. Have, like the, I think a good person to talk to about this stuff is Andy. I was talking to her last night, and she mentioned some things. We're gonna come up with a plan to introduce a series of things up in the north to kind of make it possible to uh, exist up there. Yeah. Really. Look, I, I know, I know, I ain't gonna be a part of the council at this point, and I, and I didn't want to. Just truthfully, I didn't want to run for PD liaison. You can't wear every hat, right? You gotta. You don't want to be the liaison and command of a new office, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's. Uh, I mean, I, I, I could, obviously I could do it. You know, I have a lot of experience and whatnot. But at the same time, you know, you gotta, uh, like I said earlier, delegate to some of the younger fellows and you know give them uh, opportunities to. You know, showcase their abilities. So we'll have you in on the meetings. Yeah, uh, I, I would. I would discussing the future of the North. Yeah, I, I would absolutely love that. Okay, so, go get your car fixed, Cornwood. Yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah. I got to get this taken care of too. So, Cornwood has been amazing. Yeah, I mean, we'll see what happens. I mean, there's a there's a world where like if if Max doesn't win mayor, then this doesn't win yet. We don't know. I think we find out tomorrow. What's up, guys? It's Sfan here, and I want to tell you guys about Starforge Systems, the best PCs in the universe. We have two different lines of computers, six computers total, and they all are priced at different points for different needs. You have the Horizon 2, which is a great entry computer, and you even have the Voyager Creator Elite, which has a 4090 and a 13900K. That's what I use. It's great for doing everything that you need for streaming, and not only do I use it, every other OTK member uses it as well. So we do shipping to all of the United States and to Canada, and there's a two-year warranty on your computers. Our prices are competitive, and it's backed by creators everywhere. So make sure to head on over to StarforgeSystems.com and get a new computer today. Just get your ass in gear and get down to City Hall. Bring uh, as many barricades and barriers as possible for, for uh, scene control. So what's happening at City Hall? The election results? Oh, I thought this is the vote is ending at 7. All right, we've moved the majority of the uh, civilian population to the lower plaza, so we should uh, be good to put up some barriers. Chief Crane, I believe, just relayed uh, a minute ago, five minutes, so may maybe we have less I'm time than what we thought. I thought it said CST. Why does it, like, I'm, I'm, like, this isn't even a joke. Why does anybody even use anything other than Texas time? It's just like no other time matters. Hello? Uh, you got what you need? Get some food on you, Cletus? Not really, actually. Uh, I, got, I got a couple chips. Yeah, I didn't know they were doing a damn announcement right away. Mm, yeah, me too. I was caught off guard, actually. Uh, just be advised, Crane I'm is sure. starting, so he's, he's starting already, it looks like. All right, we're coming right now. If Max wins, that's big. So, uh, first up is going to be the healthcare liaison. This is a position that will represent the various fields of EMS workers, doctors, uh, psych workers, etc. There were a number of candidates put forth. Uh, Miss Aphrodite Theos receiving 12 votes. Uh, Mr. Franklin Happy Lee receiving 14 votes. I will be Chat, I dropped out. the ones that receive votes in the spirit of time and efficiency. Uh, so Donnie McMuffin with nine votes. Party Hardy, 28 votes. Max Dumont, 30 votes. Uh, Cletus Cornwood withdrew. Uh, so these votes do not count, but he received 44 votes. Pilbish Shonley with 47. Wait, how many did I get? Uh, so the last three. And years, I withdrew on day uh, two. The uh, third place finisher will not be receiving a seat is Mr. Stelio Lambros with 118 votes. Second place finisher and elected as the deputy mayor is Michael Simone with 150 votes. Oh, and then votes. Max. And the newly elected mayor with 391 votes, Max Thoroughbred. Congratulations, Max. Yippee! Holy shit. Yippee! Holy. Oh my dude, God. It actually, dude, it actually. Yippee! Congratulations. Dude, it actually now, would have been. Just uh, one more thing. So if I, uh, I understand you'll need some time to celebrate with your folks. Uh, it actually would have been Cornwood and Max, honestly. Thank you everyone who voted for me. I love you. Hell yeah, Max. I love you too, Mr. I don't know. What was that? Did somebody hear gunshots? Am I crazy? I swear it sounded like a silenced pistol. All right, we're getting reports of a hunting rifle going off from the crowd. Stand by. Let's tell the crowd the next. Regular meetings, or if you just think of something on the spot, I'm, I'll always be yep, ready. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, of course. All right, you congratulations. Thank you again. I appreciate it. Hey, you know that? You got 45 yeah, votes for doing that. Yeah, hell, I, I think I dropped on day two. Oh, okay. I mean, 
Yeah, shit, I probably would have been deputy mayor. In the front I mean, that wasn't even close. I mean, he had, what, 300 to the next person? Had a, one, one, 128. I mean, if I had actually campaigned, yeah. I think, I think you're right, Wayne. I'll be honest with you, I'm glad I did. A former terrorist is now our mayor. Life is so strange, huh? I think he's a good guy. I mean, he's, he's turned a new leaf. All right, Shit. now are things actually start to get moving now that we have an actual mayor. We have people actually in positions in the city council. The government is slowly building itself up now. Let's go ahead and start picking up these uh, these barriers over here. Just grab uh, whatever you put out. Make sure you keep track of everything. Um. Hey, hey, put the knife in the rent. Jump, jump to the rent. This is for my The Russian city hall. There's a knife. Oh, 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 red oh, red oh, jump to. Oh, red jump to Russian oh, inside. Wrench out and in. Rush it upside. Move out of the way. Move out of the way. Get away! Oh, God. I pulled out. My gun was stuck on me. <laughs> I hit my. <laughs> I'm gonna take care of you, corny wood. Just kidding. Hey, I got corny wood. <laughs> There's so many cops uh, you guys down. <laughs> Because we're trained to not defend ourselves. Man, I've got the 95 in the red jumps. Oh no. Welcome to Los uh, Santos. I'll have you guys uh, back away. All right, I'm gonna play. <laughs> okay, who hit me? See, this is why I, 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 I honest to God, right, think. You up to your feet. I, honest to God, I think the batons are more dangerous than the guns. I got hit by a cop. Oh, the suspect we have in custody, I got information about him. GSR tells him right now, we believe he shot his hunter rifle across the street by Dick Lover in the parking lot. So, whoever, who's got him as a 95? I need an officer name now. Okay. 799. Dude. Make sure we don't lose eyesight on that guy, because I believe there was an attempt to an assassination on the mayor's life. Who this? Yeah, Texas yeah. 23 at Central Medical with the mayor in Chavon. Uh, I, I, got a, I got a hell of a lot of it. Okay. I'm going to make a report right now. How did we we? How you doing? You doing good? I'm a yeah, here you go. I can give you this right here, okay? Yeah. Hey, I have to run back in here. We got we got a situation, okay? Okay. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, thanks. Uh, thanks, Wee Wee. I appreciate it. Hey, I'll be back out in a little bit, okay? There's one more. Where? Where? In the stairs. Oh, you found There's another one. one in the stairs. Oh. There okay. might be another one, yeah. Um, Conrad? Yeah. Her at the front door. Uh, they found her. They, uh, that was the one we already... Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> I uh I found out. <laughs> I'm gonna take the boat back to the apartments, maybe. Dude, this clip is I got so three statements, funny. but two of the Jesus technically oh, no oh, for him to do now he's the mayor. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I guess so. Dude, dude. Is, is, that, officer? is that Sla sure. dude Slax is just on a tear, dude. I think she's trying to stop the red guy. She's trying to hit the red guy and then it just <laughs> <laughs> and Bobby Charles is just sitting here watching the chaos, dude. It was hands. Oh my goodness, it is so funny, dude. I want to use this entire scenario as the exact reason as to why we need to be using guns in that situation instead of a baton. Uh, yeah, but then we're shooting into a crowd, and then it's lawsuits, right? It At is. Least, uh... It is so much safer for us to use a gun than it is to swing a baton that take four or five people out in one swing. I'm pretty sure Slacks just knocked me right upside the head while I was filming. <laughs> Howdy, you doing good? Yeah, you gotta train your officers better with batons. One of them whacked me over the head. Hey, yeah, the, I'm, the I'm problem sorry is, about that, it's, sir. it's the damn uh, baton yeah, is so damn unwieldy. Yeah, I mean, I, I was saying yeah, this earlier. If we had used guns, it would have been safer in that yeah, situation. There, 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 you, there you go. Hey, there's you somebody. got my blessing. True. There you go. Can you make it legal for police officers to shoot their guns? Just like any at any point? I mean, pr preferably yes, but I mean, just in a proper manner. Is that not already legal? Uh, no. What was that, Craig? Uh, what? Basically. Red jumpsuit, rushing in, hey, drop the weapon! Hold up, hold up, the police are on it. Mexic! Mexic! Down, tackle him! Tackle him! Get him! Oh, gee, Jesus! Oh God! Bonnie, Bonnie, Bonnie! Dude, that is so funny, dude! No, shot, dude! That's a perfect. Oh, Down, officer! Tackle him! Tackle him! Get him! 
Oh, oh gee, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, God. So much friendly. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, 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 my God. He's down. He's down. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Through the courthouse immediately. The courthouse is already going to hell in a handbasket. Shit, what's gonna happen? I'm gonna use this and have like a legitimate presentation as to why we should be using guns instead of instead of batons. All right. Long story short, Timo, the main accomplice of terrorism, basically saying like a canary, told us everything, his motive, everything behind it. Gave us consent to go his phone. There's evidence to show Bobby Charles was in contact with him. He told us that Bobby Charles was this co-conspiracy behind everything. So they both need to go up on terrorism. Hit, okay. hit Bobby Charles with uh, accomplished terrorism, and then we're hitting our guy with terrorism. We'll do um, our, we'll transport the both of them with everybody here, and they'll go in the max sec. A terrorism charge perma is the character. It's not like a real perma. He's free to go. Oh, yeah, God. He, he, he was, uh, he was, oh, here's your stuff back, guy? Mister. Yeah, here. Let me give you his possessions God. kit. Yeah. See you in the end of the world, Bobby. Hey, yeah. Good luck to you. Um, Slacks, can I talk to you right quick? Coming? What exactly does the terrorism charge constitute? So they're held for 72 hours till we get the docket posting. Then he can request for bail. And then he'll have to just be on bail till his trial. If we put Bobby Charles in Maxic, half the people in this police department are going to be out of a job. I understand that, but he <laughs> met up with this Rick. individual and planned this conspiracy to, to kill the mayor. This man does not oh, know what, what consequences are because right. every single time I talk to him, he just doesn't listen. Wait, where's Bobby? I see, I see fresh meat. I see fresh meat. Hey, touch me and, I'll, and I will literally destroy you. Touch me, I will literally, I will destroy you. Okay? I will go, I'll go DOC on your ass. Okay? Yeah, Johnson, I'm heading to Senior Bun. Hey, I'm going to seven and six. Yeah. I would highly advise that that would be really bad. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. God, that's situation. Oh, God. Stop running at me. I'm scared. Okay, oh. he doesn't have a weapon or anything. Hey. Guard! Guard! Oh my god! Oh my god! Stupid idiot! He's, he's not gonna kill him. He, he's just being dramatic. To live through town for the simpler city line. But all he found was a crown filled land of.